slippery ice puzzles like this could make it kind of fun to get an item. Especially if you have a more advanced ice sliding puzzle and there's some sort of major reward at the end for the player's patience in figuring it out. And doing this in RPG Maker is actually really simple. So for this setup you're going to use a couple of different types of events. They're all going to be either player touch or event touch, it's your choice. But there are events where you can only approach from one angle, events where you can approach from multiple angles, in which case you would use a conditional branch to check, and events that pretty much don't do anything but play a sound effect. So, first off, our regular event. This is an event that you can only approach from one angle, and it continues to slide until you hit a, until you hit a block. You can count the amount of tiles that you need to move in uh, to get the perfect amount. But just to be on the safe side, go ahead and check the skip if cannot move checkbox. Next up we have events that can be approached from multiple angles in which case all you would have to do is use a conditional branch to check in, uh, which direction the player is facing and then slide the player accordingly. Finally we have events that don't really do anything except for play a sound effect when you step on them. This is for events this is used for the events that are close to the wall. Once you understand how this works go ahead and design yourself a little ice puzzle and upload it on YouTube and send the link in the comments below and I'll check it out. Till next time bye guys.